Why is the Integra Type R so expensive? You go on websites like Bring a Trailer and you're just absolutely astounded at the prices of this car that not even five to 10 years ago, you could have bought for practically nothing. I have a K-Swap Integra myself and I've always wondered, what is it truly like to drive an OEM Integra Type R? And then I had the opportunity to drive one with only 3,000 miles on it. So let's go for a drive and really figure out why these cars have skyrocketed in price. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a 100% real Integra Type R. And I have never, ever, ever been in one of these. And I own an Integra. I actually own a K20A swap Integra that used to be an Integra LS and that motor went on me. And then after that, I K-swapped it, just like most people are today. Believe it or not, my main memory of the Integra Type R is not of a collector car. When I was in high school, my parents had a plumber come over to the house to fix one of our sinks, and he showed up in a beat up black Integra Type R, and he said, yeah, I love this thing. I got it for like 800 bucks. I mean, it's always been a legendary car, but it's not what it is today. Today it became this huge collector car that you sell on Bring a Trailer for tens of thousands of dollars. And that is something I would have never, ever predicted in car culture, never. And the person who owns this Type R also owns that incredible yellow one you might have seen go around the internet. Absolutely immaculate. And he said that I was not allowed to do a review of this Integra Type R unless I pretty much beat the snot out of it and revved it to the sky. I've driven Type R swaps, but not the Integra Type R. V-Tech! <laughs> that was a roll on from 60 and it just keeps going, it never stops. And it's so smooth, like, you think it's an old car, it's an old Honda. No, this is something else. This, this is completely stock. This car is 100% stock for the most part. Stock wheels, stock appearance, and the white, oh my gosh, an Integra Type R in white is just immaculate, guys. Unbelievable. And the Integra has always been the more sporty car to me in the Honda world. Of course, there's the NSX, and the hatches to me, straight race cars. But the hatches, when they came out, were never meant to be race cars, right? They have these Economy D series motors in them here in the United States. Sure, they had the EK that was a Type R and a few other things, the SI. But when it comes to like a dual overhead cam sporty car that wasn't a swap, you know, this was the one for me. almost 9,000 RPM from a 60, I go nowhere. <laughs> but I absolutely adore the driving experience. It sings, it sounds great. And I like that it has a factory exhaust on it. So it's all motor, you hear all the motor. And it's interesting feeling my K-Swap compared to this. The K-Swap has that little bit more torque to it. This is more this smooth, serene experience. My K-Swap Integra is kind of a more violent experience if that yeah. makes sense. I love the squishiness of the dash. I know that's like a weird thing to say, but it makes it feel pretty timeless. Getting in the car, it doesn't feel that old. The gauges look great. I love like the little fake carbon fiber it has around the gauges. Seeing a 10,000 RPM tachometer is super satisfying. And when you start seeing the tachometer needle going like this, you know you're having fun, right? with the red emblems. You know you're mean in business with those red emblems. All right, I'm gonna slow down to what the Type R was actually made for. Okay. And caught up to the Forester. It's so quiet. I didn't realize how quiet these things were, dude. All right, I'm gonna let this thing sing. Whoa! <laughs> How in the world did we get to this place where Integras are collector cars? Like, it's amazing. 
I love how people appreciate the engineering that Honda did. You know what I mean? Like, even though it is unfortunate these are getting more expensive and less attainable, it's amazing that people are finally like, wow, these cars were special. They really were. Caught up to the car in front of me. Man, this car is so much fun. It is so fun. Revlimiter! VTEC! It's too bad I'm in Iowa because to rip this on a mountain road would be heaven. Absolute heaven. And the chassis feels better. It just does. I know that they did some things to the chassis compared to the normal Integra, it, it just feels like a million bucks. Like this car gives you extreme confidence on exit ramps or curves or turns or whatever you can do in Iowa when, it, you, you know, when you can turn. But even when you're letting it rip, you're just smiling and you're enjoying the experience. You're not trying to beat anybody in a roll race. You know what I mean? It's just one of those cars that it's like, I'm flexing because I just got a Type R. I don't have to prove anything. In fact, a stock interior Type R is more impressive to me than seeing like a fully modded out one nowadays. Since when did we reverse our perception of stock versus modified? You know, a, a stock interior Honda is like a relic now. And I just love seeing the wing in the back and being like, yeah, race car. <laughs> and Honda shifters, man, they just make you feel so good shifting quickly. Like just going through the gears as fast as you can in a Honda, there is something about it. I don't know what it is, but they just build really good shifters, guys. They always have. The visibility in here is perfect and the everything works and it's clean and it's comfortable. And I want one. third and fourth. I couldn't even make it to the end of fourth. The gearing is so long. And the thing is, you can just feel like you're driving fast everywhere and you're really not doing anything that bad at the end of the day. It's not like you're in an 800 horsepower hatch, you know, just like ruining everyone's day with a hood exit. Guys, this is a stoplight. Listen how quiet it is. Wow. I get it now. I completely get it. I understand why people loved these cars, held on to them, but it is sad that so many of them went to waste and were left to rot. But the people who did keep them and keep appreciating them and drove them, that's where it really counts. <laughs> The best time to drive an Integra is first through third. That's when you're like getting the thrill of it. What do you think about the Integra Type R? Do you think they're overpriced now? Do you think they're worth it? Do you, are you kind of glad that they're gaining value because people now appreciate them more? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Also, if you'd like to help support my channel, I have a detailed brand called Patterson Car Care. It is all original formulas and it makes washing cars so easy, including our Brake Dust Pro, which you can clean your wheels in just around a minute. It's like a cheat code. And on that note, guys, I upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. <sighs> and take it easy. This was a good one, guys. This was a good one. <laughs> See you guys.